Microsoft has been a cornerstone of our portfolio since 2016. I'll break down exactly why and how we've been investing in this tech giant and when you might want to consider jumping in yourself. Since 2016, Microsoft has been one of the leanest stocks in the stock market. When I say clean, I mean it's been an investor's dream in terms of smooth, consistent performance. We've seen two major uptrends. First, from December 2016 to October 2018, a solid 93% gain. And then from May 2019 to November 2021, an impressive 201% uptrend. We most recently entered in November 2023. The stock had climbed 17%, but it is currently going through a correction, which is normal at this time of year, as we're going through the summer months and when traders are away from their desks. When it comes to stock splits, the last one for Microsoft was way back in February 2003, a two for one split. But don't let that fool you. The lack of recent splits doesn't mean the stock hasn't been performing. Let's talk earnings reports. Since 2016, Microsoft has had only two negative earnings reports. That's incredible consistency. Now, if you compare that to a stock like Nvidia, which often sees big gaps around earnings, Microsoft's trend structure barely blinks at earnings reports. They get absorbed into price action like it's no big deal. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Microsoft, isn't that a bit, well, boring? And you're not entirely wrong. Microsoft is what I call a steady eddy. It's not the most exciting mover, but for investors who give it time, it's incredibly profitable. And that's what counts. That said, Microsoft isn't without its challenges. It can consolidate for long periods. Take November 2021 to November 2023. That's a two year sideways market with essentially no growth. But here's where smart investing comes in. Good investors would have exited at the start of the decline well before the almost 40% drop. They wouldn't sit through a sideways market twiddling in their thumbs. Instead, they take profits from the 2019 to the 2021 uptrend and move to another opportunity. For example, during that same period when Microsoft was stagnant, McKesson Corporation, a healthcare stock, moved up 64% from November 2021 to November 2022. Now, I can hear you almost asking, okay, but how do I know when to get in without relying on dumb luck? It's a great question. This is where our systematic approach comes in, what we call the 4PS method or the four phase sequence method. Let me break it down for you. Phase one is identifying a stock with a proven performance history. Phase two is waiting for a prolonged consolidation or a base to form. Phase three is a confirmation of the breakout from that base. And phase four is entering the stock at the start of the next major uptrend. Let's apply this to Microsoft's history. The first 4PS cycle breaks down as follows. Phase one is from 1994 to 1999, experiencing a remarkable 1,650% increase. This was followed by phase two, a prolonged consolidation period from 1999 to 2016. The confirmation of a breakout occurred in December 2016, marking the beginning of a phase three. And then subsequently from December 2016 to October 2018, that was the phase four uptrend where we saw a 93% gain. Then the 4PS cycle reset. Phase four becomes the new phase one and we start all over again. So phase one was from December 2016 to October 2018, where we saw the 93% gain. This was followed by a phase two, a brief consolidation period from October 2018 to February 2019. And then March 2019 marked the beginning of phase three with the breakout. And then finally phase four, spanning from March 2019 to November 2021, resulted in a substantial 201% gain. And now we're in the current four phase sequence cycle. Phase one is March 2019 to November 2021, which is the 201% gain. Phase two is November 2021 to October 2023, a consolidation period of almost two years. And then phase three was the breakout in November 2023. And then phase four is November 2023 to today. We're now applying patience for this current uptrend to gather momentum. So when should you buy if you're not in Microsoft just as yet? This current uptrend is still young, so you want to enter on the next valid entry point. You don't want to just jump in. There has to be a valid entry point. This will typically be when the stock breaks out and sets new 
all time highs. Could you enter now? Well, yes, of course, but there's a risk it could continue dropping. Patience is key here. Wait for that high probability entry when it confirms a trend continuation with a clear breakout. Now, let's talk risk management. This is crucial. Take small positions, no more than 2% per position. Spread your risk across several high probability stocks that are starting their new phase four uptrends. Remember these mantras. Number one, let winners run, cut losers short. And number two, the trend is your friend until the bend at the end. These are timeless mantras. Here's a pro tip, compound winning trends. This simply means adding more of a winning stock into your portfolio. But here's the thing, by removing the risk on your previous position, you're not adding any more risk to your portfolio overall. This is how the best traders and investors do it. And here's another pro tip, only add to winning positions, never losers. Cap your losses, but keep your profits uncapped. For stop losses, I like to use average true range or ATR. It's a great way to calculate both your initial stop loss and your trailing stop loss tailored to each asset's volatility. For example, we could use ATR over 30 days and then use a multiplier like four. So for Microsoft, ATR over 30 days is roughly $10. And if we multiply that by four, we get a $40 stop loss. We can use that $40 stop loss as the initial stop loss and then also as the trailing stop loss. This way, you're not exiting too early on normal pullbacks in the trend if the stock keeps moving up. But you're also not giving back too much profit when the stock eventually reverses. Now, you might be wondering why we focus heavily on technicals rather than fundamentals. Here's the truth. As private investors, we're at a disadvantage when it comes to fundamentals and news items. Why? Institutions pay big money to get that information early. By the time we hear it, it's old and it's factored into the market. But here's the good news. We don't need to copy institutions. In fact, we have a massive advantage. All we need to do is apply patience and wait for the momentum to come in. We use technicals to identify the start of a trend and then all we need to do is piggyback the ride. This is why having a systematic approach is crucial. Most private investors don't have one and that's why they blow up. But get it right and investing in stocks that trend over 12 to 18 months can be one of the most lucrative ways to generate wealth from the comfort of your home and in just minutes a week. Okay, let's talk about the power of patience. This is your superpower as a private investor. We have no rules or red tapes to deal with. We can wait for the perfect setup and then act decisively. Most private investors blow up because they lack this systematic approach and they lack patience. So there you have it, a deep dive into Microsoft's steady climb and how you can apply these principles to your own investing. Remember, the 4PS method and the principles we've discussed can be applied to any stock. It's all about having a system, being patient and managing your risk. Successful investing isn't about brand loyalty. It's about analyzing a company's stock performance, understanding its potential and knowing when to make your move. You might love your iPhone, for example, but that doesn't mean Apple is always the best investment. Same with Microsoft. You may love Windows, but that doesn't necessarily mean that Microsoft stock is the right time to be investing. In. Now that you have a top tech stock to consider, you'll also want to look at top beverage stocks in the consumer staple sector, which I cover in this video.